and look at the best streamers like Aiden or something, or you know whoever's popping at the top. They're constantly mixing up. They're doing. It's like, or if it's if it's a pre-existing concept, their take on it is what's making it more desirable. Mm -hmm. So it's like you constantly like you're looking for like a way in <laughs> while like it's authentic and it feels good to watch and it's fun to watch and it's like it's just I'm just wondering you know I just I, I'm. I'm not saying that content creation in general is at a standstill, but it's like if you look at like what some of the you know guys are doing, it's like most are doing the absolute fucking most nowadays. Mm. I mean, even I find myself like fucking like I threw a homeless party. I fucking went to the Overton neighborhood and got ten crackheads to fucking come to my house and party. Like, I'm saying like I don't know what. The fuck yeah. I'm like, no, no, I mean, I thought about that when Steve will do it invite I love Steve, right? But he started IRL streaming for a while. I don't know if he's still doing it, but he invited me one day on Melrose to pull up to this event that they did where they bought a ton of gifts. It might have been like ten thousand dollars worth of, or maybe more, maybe twenty thousand dollars worth of like video game systems and TVs and computers and all this shit. And the whole theme of it was black people get free gifts and white people have to pay full price. Now it just so happens that I pulled up with like five black dudes. So it was like kind of like a ideal scenario. I was right. just like, bro, brick baby, take something like this is right. sick. This is but, your moment. but think about the standard for IRL streaming. When you have somebody as famous as Steve yeah. and he's doing a stream where he's giving away like $20,000 worth Dude, of shit. I, I mean, now we're talking about like how the, a normal person going to compete with that unless they just have a crazy magnetic that's personality. What I, you know, that's, you know? also, that's also the great question because a lot of people, like, I'll always state, like, when you're starting, when you're, you know, I don't want to say leeching from a community, but when you're integrating with a community, try, you're going to want to try and stream around them so you can have their viewers when mm -hmm. they're not live. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to be live when every big streamer is live and your product is, they're going to have to say, I pick you over them, basically, in right. a way. But when something happens that's super viral, like you getting punched in the face, how much does that affect your viewership in the afterwards? Well, it's period? just, the, you know, the thing is, like I said, it just depends on the content because if I go viral for whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing IRL and then they pull up and I'm fucking maybe high seventh hour in watching a video, tired, going to get off soon, they're going to click off and maybe mm. I just blew a first impression. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, you want to try to like, have it be as close to the clip is what they're going to get when they click on your stream. But A, that's not realistic. B, you can't do IRLs every day. That's not sustainable, especially if you want them to be good. Mm. Or like maybe it, 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 I mean, maybe it is, but I'm saying if you want them to be good, I would say doing them every day is probably not possible. Why, uh, why do you stop up uploading to YouTube? Great question. You know, the whole YouTube thing, and we're going to get more into that. I'm talking to a couple of different editors is because the whole blow up for me was an accident. Mm. I only started posting it, dude. All that fucking, all my viralness that first was completely accidental. I just noticed they were getting views on other people's channels. So then I just was, I just uploaded three videos. If you look at the Demon Child series, the one that broke like one or two million each, there's a fucking rage bar in the middle because some guy watermarked my video. He mm. made the video and fucking posted it on his YouTube video. <laughs> And watermarked it, so I had to cover it up, and then I re-uploaded it, and then he took his down. Right. But they did mad views. That's when I knew I had a gold mine. Right. This fucking Kevin kid, who, <laughs> who's now a drug addict. Really? Yeah, dude. I fucking met him on stream like a few months ago, dude. And he was young as fuck, right? He's now he's like fifteen or sixteen, and his okay. mom told me he's in drugs and it's not good. And what? Like, dude, yeah, it sucks. That sucks. Yeah, I try, man. I probably, I mean, dude, I gave I gave him and his family like twenty grand. Really? Yeah. Did you really get fifty thousand dollars worth of donations from Corinna Kampf? That's what it says in these notes. I don't know Dude, if I believe this. That sounds there insane. There was a month where she did, yeah. Corinna was really generous. I miss well, hanging out with her a lot. She wait, was really cool and humble and like hanging she, out, like hanging out, it's hanging on out? stream. No, on stream. You were hooking and, up with her? No, oh. no, I never hooked up with her. Okay. I didn't have the courage. I always say like there was like maybe <laughs> one point in time where like I felt maybe like maybe she was open minded. She liked me maybe you little, had worn her down a little maybe. bit. Maybe. But I was like, bro, A, I didn't have, like, as big as a following as I do now. And B, I still don't know if I would because she's, like, got such a status -y, like, symbol around her. Yeah. And she helped me get into the FaZe party at TwitchCon two years ago. Oh, right behind cool. FaZe Banks and shit. She's too rich. That's, like, she's overwhelming. She's so rich and she's so, like, like intimidating. But she's really humble. She's very intimidating. Yeah. Extremely intimidating, especially in person. I don't think I've ever been around her. She's really She's really hot, like, intimidating in person. Really? She's really humble and cool, though. She doesn't have, like, any of that, like. 
shitty aura. She's a really nice person. She's really nice. The like, world is weird now because there's just all these random hot chicks that make like six figures a month off dude, OnlyFans. Dude, and I, dude, <laughs> just I was like, just talking about that. They would have been like strippers in like a dude. prior era, you know? And now they're making fucking a quarter million dollars <laughs> yeah. a month. I, Dude, honestly, I even thought about it. That OnlyFans money is so crazy, dude. Yeah. I even thought about sucking on a fucking dildo for a million a month. <laughs> A million a month is a lot. Or whatever the fuck it would be. Like, dude, it'd be embarrassing. My dad would disown me. I'd never go to a Jewish cemetery or wherever the fuck he wants me to go. But uh, I do. I know. I know, like, dudes who, like, started OnlyFans and then, like, very quickly realized that they can make a lot of money if they start doing some sort of gay shit. Exactly, dude. That's what they keep telling and, me. And know. most of them, like, don't, but, like, some of them do. Dude, dude yeah. Some of them are just going I'll for never it. do anything with another guy. That's literally gay. But, like, dude, I'll fucking, like, <laughs> like, I guess maybe, dude, like, but the thought of it's so gay, like, I'm going to suck on a black dildo. Oh, no. Like, for a million a month? I'm saying, honestly, for a million a month, I would. <laughs> Would you not do that? Like, a that, million I, a month and I would just suck on a black dildo yeah. here and there? I mean, shit, yeah, now we're talking, man. That's what I'm saying. But like, if it was Judge like, me if you want, guys. I'm sucking a dildo. If it was like less than like 100K a month, I could never do it. It's not worth the <laughs> reputational damage. Like, dude, imagine trying to beef with someone on Twitter. And you fucking... It would just be like, so weird saying no to that just because... Suck on this. <laughs> yeah, just because... <laughs> It's so dumb. It's so, like, not gay at all yeah. to just put a piece of rubber in your mouth. But, like, you still would probably want to turn it right. down just because, like, it would just be so... So gay. Yeah. It's just so much to handle. 